the main focus of my research has been on something we call the global carbon cycle. It involves uh, the things that people do that release greenhouse gases to the environment, but it also concerns the things that ecosystems do where they either take up those greenhouse gases in the growth of plants or in the activity of ocean organisms and the way those greenhouse gases are released by ecosystem processes. Uh, the global carbon cycle is important because that's basically the uh, system that's pushing on the climate the hardest. And if we can understand how it works and how it's likely to change in the future, we can make good decisions about uh, managing our activities to uh, make climate change a problem that we can deal with. The main challenge that I face is helping people understand that climate change is something that's scientifically very well established, it's something that's occurring now, and it's something that's not going to go away if we ignore it. The final point that I find is incredibly important to communicate is that we have a window of opportunity now where dealing effectively with climate change won't be overwhelmingly expensive, but that window is getting narrower and narrower and harder and harder to hit as we move into the future. And one of the things that concerns me is that um, since 1992, we've had an international convention that was intended to limit human impacts on climate. But since 2000, uh, the emissions of heat trapping gases related to human activity have increased more rapidly than in any other period in the past. Essentially, during the time that we've had a protocol in place to limit warming, the intentions embodied in that protocol have been swamped by economic activity and by a failure of the world's countries to really focus with sufficient uh, intensity on the nature of the problem and on the set of possible solutions. As a consequence of that, I think it's fair to say that climate change is on a trajectory that has not been explored carefully in any of the climate models that have been run to date. It doesn't necessarily mean that the climate's changing more rapidly, but it means that we're pushing harder on it than we expected, and we really haven't looked at the consequences of that in detail. I think that the recognition by the Heinz Family Foundation that this is a critical period of the environment is incredibly insightful. We're on a trajectory where many dimensions of the environment are under stress. And we think a lot about climate change, but um, deforestation, uh, management of waste, management of water resources, all add together to create a situation where uh, we really need some incredibly bold and incredibly creative thinking to avoid very big problems in the future. One of the things that's most encouraging to me is that we are seeing genuine movement on the climate issue. We're seeing real progress with the technologies that can move us away from a carbon-based economy. And we're seeing a real enthusiasm among um, levels all the way from families to the world's governments about taking a more aggressive activist profile. I think that there's a level of excitement that I have never seen in my experience with the climate community. And I think we have a real opportunity now and a real obligation to act on that enthusiasm.